from the WatchGuard Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockiner. Today's story is Flash Zero Day and Microsoft Patch Day. As you surely know, the second Tuesday of the month is Microsoft Patch Day, which also is Adobe Patch Day. They share the same patch day. Normally, Microsoft's news is the most important, but this month, Adobe Flash takes the cake. Let's start with the Adobe updates. Adobe released updates for many products, their Creative Suite, Cold Fusion, something called Brackets, and something called their DNG SDK. But most importantly, Adobe released a patch for Flash, a popular browser add-on. Now, the Flash update fixes one zero-day vulnerability that bad guys are exploiting in the wild, and many people out there use Flash. So really, if you get anything from this video today, if you use Adobe Flash, go patch that as soon as possible. Now, it's also Microsoft Patch Day, and they released a ton of bulletins as well. They released 16 security bulletins. Five of them are rated as critical. They fix well over 40 vulnerabilities in a number of products, of course, Windows, Windows, both the browsers, you know, Internet Explorer and Edge, the Office packages including SharePoint, and also some servers like specifically the Active Directory server and more importantly the DNS server. Now I won't go into these updates in a lot of detail. Obviously the critical ones fix a lot of remote code execution vulnerabilities. So if you're a Microsoft user, you definitely want to update your browser, you want to update Office, but most importantly there's one remote root vulnerability in the Microsoft DNS server that I I think is particularly dangerous. Essentially, if you have a Microsoft DNS server exposed to the public, an unauthenticated remote attacker can actually send a message that gives him full control of the server. He can execute code with system level privileges. Now, the good news about this DNS server vulnerability is it wasn't publicly disclosed. Nobody's exploiting in the wild. That's why the Adobe Flash one is probably the bigger deal to the press. But server side remote root vulnerabilities are a big deal. If you're using a Microsoft DNS server, I uh, recommend you take this patch very seriously. Besides that, make sure to patch Office. Some of the word vulnerabilities uh, can be exploited just with the Outlook preview pane and can allow attackers to remotely execute code. And browser memory corruption vulnerabilities are also bad because they can be used in drive-by downloads. So really, the too long didn't watch version of this is if you use Adobe products, especially Adobe Flash, or use Microsoft products like Windows, Office, their DNS server, etc. Go get these patches as soon as possible. One last aside, you probably probably noticed I'm traveling right now. I'm attending Gartner Security Risk and Management Summit. Uh, so long story short, I may not be able to get videos out every day, but I'll try to get them out as often as possible. That's it for today's story. Thank you for watching.